Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Susie and I do a lot of DIY, thrifting, and up upcycling thrifted finds that I sell in my retail booth. Last month was my official first month in my booth, so I thought I would do a little recap, show you guys what I sold and how I actually did. I know when I was considering opening a small business of my own, a video like this would have been super interesting and I hope that you guys are interested too. Also, I've got a huge announcement at the end of the video. So stay tuned and let's go ahead and get started. is in a store called Finders Keepers in downtown Coleman, Alabama. If you're local and you want to stop by, I'm downstairs just to the right. Officially, April 1st was my opening day, but the store let me go ahead and set up my booth on March 26th. That was a Saturday. We spent all day setting it up. It was pretty chaotic and Finders Keepers is closed on Sunday and Monday, so Tuesday, the 29th was my official first day of sales. On that day, I sold three items. This side table sold for $45. There is a video where I transformed that table and I will link it in the description box, box below if you're interested in watching the total transformation. Did I say that it sold for $45? I also sold uh, one of these carrots that I did last year after watching Julie's designs and signs tutorial on that. She's great. I will try to find her video too if you're interested in that. And the I did not have any of the IOD stamps to stamp the word carrot on there. So I just cut out some orange vinyl with my Silhouette Cameo and this carrot sold for $8. Only one of them sold though. Um, the last item on the first day was this old suitcase that I painted and added a grain sack stripe to and I decoposh tissue paper on the inside and I did this years ago. There's no video of it. And I got $22 for the suitcase. And the rest of the month, I'm just going to quickly go through the items that were sold and how much they were sold for. Um, I sold two blue ball jars for $4 each. I paid a dollar each for them. I have since learned that I can get a lot more for the blue jars or aqua jars. Um, I've sold several more of them since and sold for a lot more. I sold a ruffled milk glass um, that I've had and enjoyed for years. That's one of the great things that I love about having a booth is I can rotate in and out of my decor. As I get tired of something, I can sell it. And if I bring something in and I get tired of it, I can sell it. So I really like that about having a booth. So I've had this milk glass for many years and I sold it for $8. Um, I sold a frame that I thrifted and painted the frame with Waverly Celery Chalk Paint, um, a little duck and a geese. I think I may have a picture of it. That sold for $9. Um, I got these wooden windows, um, like for $5 each at a yard sale, and two of them sold for $14 each. I also, at that same yard sale, found a cute little antique biscuit cutter for 50 cents, and it sold for $4 almost immediately. Some of you may remember this lavender arrangement that I had in a thrift clip video. It sold pretty quickly for $12. I sold my own breadboard that I made out of a poplar tree that we had cut down on the property here. Um, I have a lot more of that wood, so I really need to make more. I made several for Christmas gifts, and I just haven't had time to do more. Um, this breadboard sold for 
$30. It was pretty big and fairly unique. You just don't see any, any like it was. Um, I sold this little um, mail holder that I painted and put some scrapped IOD transfers on. Um, I think I did that in the video. All these videos that I'm talking about, I will have linked in the description box below if you wanna catch those as well, if you haven't seen them. Um, I had a book stack that I made that sold for $5. Um, it wasn't one of the ones that I did in the video, but um, it was still one of the same techniques from that video. And it sold for $5. Um, remember the rotary, black rotary phone I found when I was junking in the basement here at Granny's house? I sold that for $8, cleaned it up, sold it. One of the sheet pillows that I made for my spring mantle decor video sold for $16. I had a crystal bowl that I really wasn't interested in anymore and it sold for $22. Um, I thrifted these two large rooster canisters a long time ago for $2 each and the pair, I sold them as a pair for $20. Um, this wine and whiskey bottle set that I made in a trash to treasure video recently sold for $14. I painted them in agave by uh, Waverly at, that I got at Walmart, and I cut out the saying on my Silhouette Cameo. Um, I finally sold one of the large embroidery hoop pockets for $16, and you guessed it, there's a video on that as well linked below. Um, everyone commented how, on how much they love the sunflower bread box that I upcycled with apothecary paint and the painterly florals IOD transfers. Um, it sold for $28. Also in that same thrift clip video, I did this rooster storage bench that I got at the thrift store for $7 and it finally sold for $34. Um, I got this thrifted ceramic candle stand. I paid $2 for it and sold it for $9. Um, these are just Dollar Tree eggs, or should I say Dollar 25 Tree eggs. Um, I was just fooling around with them before Easter and painted them some pastel colors as fillers um, for Easter decor. I put a price on them because put a price on everything that you stick in your booth. It doesn't matter if it's just a stem of floral or whatever, because you never know if somebody doesn't just want to buy the whole thing. And I think that's what happened here. The girls at the store are so good about creating cute little vignettes when you first walk in the door and um, they just go around and get some stuff from different booths. And I guess they grabbed my eggs for this one. And I imagine somebody just come in and said, I want this whole setup. And of course that included my $3 eggs. Um, I sold a little pottery teacup that mom got at a craft fair for $5. She wasn't that crazy about it after she got it home. So I sold it for $8 and at least we got her money back. Um, the green mirror that I painted uh, just a couple of weeks ago in my last thrift flip video sold for $16. I probably should have put like 22 or 24 on it because I think it would have sold for a little bit more, but I had had it and enjoyed it for a while. So I kind of like to pass some of the, the good deals along to others. I paid a dollar for this Brent vintage brass swan at a yard sale and it sold for $22. And my last sale for the month was just one of the vintage books and it sold for $8. I don't even know exactly which one it was because I just write down vintage book and I never pay more than $2 for a book. So, so that is what I actually sold. Now let's look at my actual profit. Okay, first I wanna show you guys the way I'm keeping track. I probably should get a um, Excel spreadsheet, but for now I've just made lots of copies of these uh, papers that I made up and I write down what I put in my booth, how much I have in it, the date I added, when it sells, I put the sold price, 
the date it sold and how much profit I made. So this line here tells me the profit that I made. Um, I'm not sure, you know, I've got these things here that haven't sold yet. And if I bring something out of the booth, like here, I donated some stuff for a Mother's Day um, basket giveaway. And I removed the carrots for the season. I just take it, I removed them. So if I do happen to put them back in, I can add them back in later. Okay, so I'm gonna show you, tell you guys um, how much profit I actually made in my first month. Okay, so here's the actual numbers for my first month of having a booth. My profit, okay, I sold $411 worth of product. My profit was, hold on, hold on a second. I gotta add something up. Okay, my actual product sales was $411 sold. Um, my products and, you know, the items that I sold and the estimated product that I used on those items totaled to $91.50, and that left me a profit of $319.50. Now, of that profit, my booth rent comes out, which is $90, and 3% commission, which I forgot to tell you guys, at my booth, up to, I think, 45 items, it's 3% commission. And if you sell more than 45 items, it goes up to 5%. And that's just because if you're selling more, they're working more. And so I understand that. But I did sell under um, 45 items. I sold 27 items. And so my commission was 3%, which was uh, $12.33. And that brought my total profit to 217.17. The only thing I have not subtracted off that was I do have to pay the credit card fees for when people use the credit cards. Um, it's not a big amount, probably no more than 10 or $12, but I don't know the exact amount on that. So I'm gonna say right around $200 was my profit for my first month in my booth. Now that doesn't seem like a huge number, but I learned so much in my first, first month and I'm really hoping to get better at it. I also did not have any large items. The only thing I had were medium sized and small because I just had not been able to get any large items finished and up there. I am working on that, so I'm hoping that future months will do more. And I also have my YouTube channel where I am making these items for my channel anyway, so it gives me a great outlet for being able to go thrifting and show you guys what I got. And having a place to put those and at least making some profit paying for all of my products and stuff like that. So the booth is totally worth it. I am having a blast, even though I am super busy all the time, I am figuring out a way to balance it all and it's just getting a lot easier already. So I'm very pleased with my first month and I really appreciate you guys coming along on this journey with me. If you are still watching now and I'm curious and who's interested in what I'm actually doing, but if you're still watching now, just comment a little heart emoji in the comments so that I know that you're still watching at this point in the video. I really appreciate you guys watching my videos and hanging in here with me through this adventure. And I have one more for you in this big announcement. Now, I wanna let you know that I thought really, really hard about this and prayed really hard about this decision. It was not one that I come to easily, but I had to come to it quickly because I knew if I didn't get on it while I had the chance, someone else would. So I just went ahead and bit the bullet and I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you guys what I've done. Y'all know how much that I love using the Iron Orchid Designs product, right? Well, I am now officially an Iron Orchid Designs stockist. If you are local and you love using the ILD products, or maybe you've never tried them, but you've been wanting to, you don't have to buy online anymore. You can come get it straight from me at my booth. If you upcycle furniture or just love making smalls, I highly recommend giving these a try. 
They are so unique and so high-end, and I am so excited for this new adventure. So, thank y'all so much for watching. I'm really excited for my new adventure, selling the Iron Orchid Designs products in my booth. Now, I have to get busy pricing all this stuff. Be sure you come back next week because I'm going to be doing a revamp of my booth and adding all this product. And I think my sweet mama might make a cameo appearance. So y'all be sure and come back. Thank you so much for watching.